for our larger models, but I have the 700. This is what we all started with. This is the whole thing started with this scanner here. Um, it's got four LED lights that are red, and they light up these reflective targets. And we call it a self-positioning scanner, which means it, is, it knows where it is. It'll build a positional model from these targets and know where it is in space relative to the target. We call it part referenced if you already have a part that you can put your targets onto. Um, but sometimes you have a part that you can't put your targets on. So for whatever reasons, features, it's a delicate item, dinosaur bone. So you just need part, just needs targets in its environment. So, um, but um, so the targets light up, or uh, the LEDs light up the targets. They're reflective, six millimeter in diameter. It knows what it is, so it makes it a target. And the cameras capture that and build a model, so you can see like from what I've got here. This screen is just a bunch of dots. Um, then the also the second part is a laser crosshair. It's uh, actually a single laser barrel in a prism that splits into a crosshair. The cameras read the crosshairs, and they actually see the crosshairs on the same plane. So as long as each camera um, sees each crosshair, build it, it'll add it to the surface and build a mesh. And we'll build an STL mesh file from that. And, um, but basically, we built on top of that everything even further. The laser barrel is a little different, redesigned. Um, it's a longer one. The new 700s are actually look the same, just for ease of manufacturing. This is our PX, which is, uh, incorporates photogrammetry. Photogrammetry would be a series of digital images um, that are taken of a positional model with the targets, but also a bunch of coded markers. Um, now, they, the other equipment of the PX, I don't happen to have it with me here, but the coded markers are reflective as are these with a six millimeter target in the center, but then a pattern around it. And they're all unique. And you snap a bunch of pictures with the center camera and the software captures those images of the coded and uncoded markers and it knows from the coded markers it knows the position of the camera when you took the pictures how far away you were and at what angle because it needs to locate the center of those the more accurately you can locate the x y and z value of the center of that target the more accurate the positional model the more accurate your scan so what we're doing with the PX and using the photogrammetry is from those coded markers, it knows the angle it's looking at it. So the, tar the target is an ellipse, but it knows where the center is. Because it knows I'm looking at it at this angle, the sphere would look like this, uh, the, the circle would look like this. So we can um, then take the error and spread it out uniformly over the part and get incredible accuracy over really big parts. Otherwise, without the photogrammetry software and using the coded markers, our errors will stack. So over a car, you know, it's, it's like uh, 0.2 millimeters over a meter. So you know, add that up. Try to do a plane, you'll get wings that'll curl up probably. But if you use this, it'll 